Right guys, let's look at Chief Mates October 2019 question number one for stability. It says a box ship vessel floating at an even keel in salt water has the following particulars. Length 120 meters, breadth 26 meters, draft 6 meters and kg 10.88 meters. An amidship watertight compartment 17 meters long, height 6.8 meters and extending full breadth of vessel is bilged. The compartment is fully loaded with cargo of relative density 0 0.87 and stowing at 1.64 meter cube per ton. Calculate each of the following. A. The final draft. B. The change in GM. So, first we would be drawing a diagram which says the length of the compartment as 120 meters, the breadth as 26 meters, the draft as 6 meters. This is the compartment which has been bilged having length of 17 meters. The height of the compartment is as 6.8 meters. Now this entire compartment is filled with cargo. As you can see, it has been marked in color yellow to indicate that it has cargo inside it. Now to solve any of the Belgian questions, we need to assume three things. Number one, the displacement is constant. Number two, underwater volume is constant. Number three, kg is constant. Now we need to know the formula for solid factor. So solid factor is equals to one divided by relative density. Now, we know the formula of permeability is equals to stowage factor of cargo minus solid factor, this thing, divided by stowage factor of cargo multiplied by 100. All we do is replace this value here and get this thing here. So we rearrange the formula. We get it as stowage factor of cargo minus 1 divided by relative density. It comes from here. Divided by stowage factor of cargo multiplied by 100. We simply put in the values here and we get the permeability as 29.9%. Now, in order to solve this question, we need to assume either of the two things. Number first assumption is our final water line is above the watertight flat. So this is the final water line and this is our watertight flat. And number two assumption is our final water line is below the watertight flat. So we can make any of these assumptions as our first priority and solve this question. But I have done this question by assuming final water line above the watertight flat. Now let's look at the formula which says buoyancy lost is equal to buoyancy gain. Now in this case the buoyancy lost is my this part. So the length of this part is 17 meters. The breadth is overall which is 26 meters and the draft is 6 meters and the permeability is 29.9%. For me to see the buoyancy gain, I have to see the final water line. Just look at, at this shape. My buoyancy gain is this part plus this part with the permeability. We know this is having permeability, so this part is also giving us buoyancy with permeability. So what we would be doing is, we would be taking this part, which is the length, the breadth and the sinkage. And we would be taking out this part. So we have done this here. Now simply we put in the numerical values 
here and we get our sinkage as 0 0.288 meters now final bilge draft is 6 meters which was our initial draft here plus sinkage which is equals to 6.288 meters now we know that our assumption which we made initially which says assuming final water line above watertight flat we know the height of the watertight flat was 6.8 meters so my final water line what i was expecting was above 6.8 meters but i have got an answer which is less than 6.8 meters so our assumption of final water line above watertight flat was wrong as 6.288 meters is less than 6.800 meters now we redo this calculation again and this time we put the final water line below the watertight flat so again buoyancy loss is equals to buoyancy gain now this time we need to be a little bit careful about the buoyancy gain as I have said that this part is also providing us with some buoyancy because we have permeability in it so we need to consider that fact so we have taken that consideration here if you see the length of the compartment is multiplied by the permeability this is done in order to consider this part which is also giving us some buoyancy so this is times multiplied by bread times the sinkage we simply change in and put in the values here and we'll get the final sinkage as 0 0.265 meters now the draft bilge is equal to draft initial plus sinkage our draft initial was 6 meters and our sinkage is 0 0.265 meters so the draft bilge is 6.265 meters this is the answer to part a let's look at part b we were supposed to calculate the change in gm as we know that displacement remain constant in this we are assuming and underwater volume also we assume to be constant and kg also we assume to be constant since we assume kg to be constant so that means any change in km would be change in gm so let's look at the km when the vessel was intact so km is equals to kb intact plus bm intact so kb intact is equals to draft by 2 which gives us 6 divided by 2 equals to 3 meters bm intact is simple formula which is lb cubed by 12v simply put in the values we get bm intact as 9.389 meters so km intact is equals to kb intact plus bm intact which is 12.389 meters now we need to find out the km in the bilge condition so km in bilge condition is again kb bilged plus bm bilged so kb bilged is equals to draft bilged divided by 2 we need to pay little more attention to this part as in this case the final water line was below the watertight flat so we can say that draft build is equals to 2 if our final water line would have been above the watertight flat then the draft bilged by 2 will never be equals to kb so let's move forward so draft bilged divided by 2 will give us 3.133 meters bm bilged again we need to consider this part which is the permeability permeable part this part we cannot forget this part so we simply put in the values here and we get bm bilged equals to 8.991 meters so km bilged is equals to kb bilged plus bm bilged here we simply put in the values and get the final answer as 12.124 meters so as we said that 
we assume here kg equals to constant so that means any change in km would be change in gm so what we have done is change in gm is equal to km bilged minus km intact this was the value for the bilge condition and 12.389 meters was the value of km in intact condition we simply take them off and we get a numerical value of 0 0.265 meters. Now, we need to state whether that GM has increased or decreased. Now, we know that the KM intact, which is 12.389 meters, and this was our initial condition. And KM bilged is 12.124 meters. This is our final condition. We can clearly see from these values that this value is smaller than this. So this means our KM bilged has a lower value. So GM would be decreased.